I've never been before, but my mom has been to Amsterdam before, and uh, we are on standby for business class. So, um, maybe we don't get to sit together. So, um, there's a guy drying his umbrella to my left, and the rainwater is straight up cleaning the windows. It's like just flowing down. So, we're now at this place called John Juice. They, um, the one that caused the way disappeared. So, we're now here at the airport, and yeah. Of course, we can get it here then. Okay, so this is our KLM plane, and yeah, nothing much. Here's the odd baggage, which is like a surfboard and a bicycle is considered as odd. So yeah, apparently bicycles and surfboards are odd baggage. And our baggage we claim is 17, which is right here. Um, this place is lovely, it's super quiet, you can like sit down and chill around. The most famous thing in Amsterdam are street walkers and they're like everywhere. There's also like cookies and crackers and biscuits and oh my god that looks so good. It's like literally, I think it's like white chocolate covered Oreos. Those look cool. So I walked right up to this ice cream like thing. Um, like, I don't know what they call it. And the first thing I see is a Ben and Jerry's ice cream sandwich which is cookie dough as well. And I was gonna eat it but I need to find like dinner first. So I'm now at the Amsterdam ski pole. Uh, airport and yeah it's nice I like it it's windy and cold and it's kind of gloomy here but it's not raining it's just like cloudy which is literally the weather that I live for I like love 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 this weather and I like it here already so we're here at the I I Amsterdam <laughs> I'm reading I Amsterdam and then this is the control tower and then this is the departures, this is the arrivals, super pretty, and my mom's face, hi! <laughs> oh, we are now sat down for dinner, which is just like a big margarita pizza to share at this store called Pertuti, I think. And then they have like pasta and pizza and like bread and stuff. And the pizza is uh, made on the spot though, which is pretty good about that. As you can see, it's like hot and uh, crispy, so yeah. And the cheese is still melty. Okay, so we're going on one of these underground metro lookalike train things that's going to Hofdorf. I don't know if it's a thing. I don't know where it is, but I'm just going to blindly follow my mom and hope for the best. Whoa, that's so cool. Like that train, like this train connects to the ground, like it's closer to the ground level. So that one is like really dead. Whoa. Okay. Well, um, the train looks like this. Um, pretty cool. Very 
empty and uh, this is our train ticket um yeah can't read a single thing on it we're also going to this place called Hof Dor. yeah so it's like about nine ish and the sun is just setting very cool oh and this is also like that's like first class basically So this is the train that we were just on. Um, really cool. And yeah. Um, very cool. Yeah. So this only has like two stops, which is the airport and this stop. And this one goes to like somewhere else that I don't know where. Yeah, very nice. I love taking these trains, but just now. So just now I was sitting on one of these chairs and then you know how like those dusty chairs, right? They're like made of I don't know what kind of material um, and then I slapped the chair down because I watched this video before where how dirty the chair was and I used my hand and I slapped the chair and a bunch of dust like flew out from the chair and I was like and then I didn't dare sit down so I just sat in the middle like the plastic crack in the middle of the chair because it looks so disgusting oh my god this place is lovely this is like the end of the train station so cool. So we're now at the lobby of our hotel for the first night. And you can rent these little bikes and they look like they're made of wood, which is so pretty. It's like so cool. It's legit, it's made of wood. It's super cool. And then, um, yeah, this is like the setting the lobby and then here you can see this really long foosball table it's so cool like i don't know how many people can play on this like that's a long foosball table so this foosball table is eight aside like eight of those aside so we can have 16 people play on this foosball table which is really cool so I think we got upgraded to an executive room because it says executive room first of all. So we're gonna like open the door now and put the hotel card in upside down. And I don't know if it works. <laughs> Does it make a difference? <gasps> it makes a difference. So we come in and we have this big glass thing and then like a luggage rack and then a the classic no door glass shower and then we have our fair trade shower product a nice sink uh, a set of stuff um toilet that doesn't have a door either um doors here okay no that is, that's there's no door for this anyways my mom does not get what i'm trying to say and then there's some cotton robes um yeah very cute a nice little painting, a safe, a fridge that has no electricity, um, a already powered coffee machine. Uh, anyways, no twin bed, so double bed again. A lovely bedside table and a nice sofa, a table, I mean chair table. Oh my god, the view! Guys, the view. Can you see the wind turbines in the background? Guys, the view is goals. The view is like straight up goals, guys. So here is our hotel, the Noble Hotel. And I think we're living on one of those top floors there. And um, up there somewhere is the moon. It's about to be covered by the clouds though and we're gonna walk towards a really beautiful sunset. Hopefully we will find a way to take a photo of the sunset before it sets. It's like 9.47 p.m. right now. Well, I said I saw a flying duck, right? I don't know, is it like a goose, a geese or a duck or something? But here it is. So I did find a place with a really nice sunset as you can see of me being so excited and we also had these complimentary welcome drinks that we had in the lobby and we enjoyed thoroughly after our night's walk or sunset walk in this case. Mm -hmm.